We are getting swifty. Welcome back to Chirp Talk, the show with heady questions and even headier dabs, the show where we interview the cannabis community while we take progressively bigger dabs. Today, we have a very special guest, Lieutenant Callie. What up, what up? I'm the Water Boys. Yo. How's it going? Dude, thanks for making the journey. I know it's not super close. It ain't close, but I'll come every time. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I love it out here. It's good vibe. It's the best box. Straight up. You yeah. already know. Dude, I like how you have had your own music for a long time, and now you're really moving on to doing things with a lot of different people. Straight up. Obviously, the Water Boys I'm most excited about. Hell yeah, yeah. We got so much sick shit coming. Bro. Like, we really do it for the people, and it's really, like, I love it so much. Dude, I, I can tell. You guys are dropping music fucking weekly, it feels like. Bro, we are. We're going to Airbnbs and setting up the mic, forming it, boom, right there, recording it, done, and just album after album. Yeah. Going crazy. Yeah, when inspiration hits. Straight up. That's interesting to have that be your like career. You have to just be ready in case inspiration hits. Interesting and amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's definitely uh it's definitely a cool career to have for sure. Well, my favorite trade as of late has been great gas, and that's what we're starting out with. Ooh, what's a good one? It's just a P1, but it's gonna be a tasty I mean, a tasty P1. The farmer who did it is named Willards. So it's pretty tight. And it's uh some cold cure and they recommend you stir it before use. Delicious. I love that. Cause I'm a bit of- Are you a, are you a side scooper or a center scooper? Uh, how'd you know? I can do a bit of a middle dipper. Oh, you're a middle dipper, huh? But if you're a real pro and you're stirring anyway, then like you should be middle dipping. Like, let's get with it. I'm middle dip too, I can't lie. <laughs> I can't lie. I know, when I first started coming public about this information, there was a lot of backlash. You <laughs> said when I told people I was a middle dipper, there was hate. But, that they've come around oh yes and realize that everything can be a middle dip if you stir correctly that's what i'm saying i like to do a fat middle dip you know what i'm saying like i take a p3 of it at first <laughs> and then just slowly scoop out of the inner circle you know what i'm saying expand the ring yeah until there's just like a ring at the <laughs> end <laughs> and then that's like four dabs left you're like chop 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 there we go 100 you know what i'm saying Ooh. also speaking of before we forget this stream is sponsored by our good homie black market glass yes we had he just put the fancy filler in there. Boom! And he recently told me that uh, quartz can be destroyed from changing temperature too quickly. What people mostly know about is like, when it's hot and you dunk it too quick. But what people don't realize, especially with the crazy ones, if you do an imperfect heat up where you hit it with a torch and it gets too hot too quick, you can also damage quartz. Yes. Especially with the fancy ones. So just another reason to get on a TSV train. If you don't have a TSV, what are you doing? <laughs> That's the real thing. I mean, I understand, but man. Black Maria Glass, it'll it. change your life. He makes quartz for a living. And once he heard about the TSV, he's like, I need like at least 10. And we're like, we can help. Then we can make customs. Sure. Yeah, shouts out Black Market, man. I've been following y'all forever. Me too. It's just so dope. I always see the videos of these things in action, man. Looks as far. Now we're about to make some. You feel me? Those videos. Oh, that one looks fun. The Terpnado. No, that's the Terpcano. Exactly. Terpcano. Nope, Terpino, exactly. Ten yeah. Daddy's Terpino. The other one is the Terpnado. And then we also got the, the Glob Father. Oh, that's out. Let's just bust the Glob Father. Yeah, let's see what these look like. So we start with the Terpcano. Terpcano. Now we're on to the Glob Father. Glob Father. Wow, you want to showcase this one a little here? Look at these this. Ooh, I love the packaging. Yeah. Dang, this thing looks crazy. You're really doing it right. Wowzers. A lot of glass, a lot of quartz, rather. Excuse me. That is insane, yo. Oh, that one looks like it can cook. Hey, see that? Oh. They call it the weekend, the Globfather weekend. The Globfather weekend. Let's start out with our P1s, and then yeah. we'll move on to some, something else crazy. Do oh, wait, it. let's intro this hash first better. Yes. This is a great gas. It's really magical. Wow, look at it on the hash cam. <laughs> Wowzers. Yeah, we can. I could go sledding down that for sure. Mm. I like the character on the grape gas jar. Slutty too. one. Yeah, the little great man. Great man running on fire. fire. Yeah, good times. Fire. Well, you want to start temping now? Yeah, I was going to say, I'll grab. Let's do it. Grape gas yeah. apart. Oh, oh, my first ever black market glass piece. I'm so excited. 
That thing looks beautiful. That's fucking magical. Mm. Make sure we got the right cap for it. Oh, mm. bingo. Mm. Zach Brownerton. Mm. Bingo. Bingo. Oh, wow. I might have too wide of a tool for this situation. Whoa. No, I think it'll work. You're perfect. It's real close. What do you got? Some beads in there? I got nothing. Nothing? Just nothing. But it's going to let it whip up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I think it'll be okay. What temp you sitting at? I'm at 6.30. I'm, I'm going to... 6.10. Nice. Temping pretty good. Pretty close. Let's try to go in around 5. Yeah, I'm going to take mine like 5.20. You're a psycho, but I love it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 5.10. You are going to go to the clouds. I like clouds. You're going to be soaring with the eagles. I like eagle what? and clouds. You know? Here we go. Let's do this. I'm going in at like 500. You've inspired me to go 10 degrees higher. There we go. I love it. I like I'll wait a couple seconds for you. Sounds great. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Get in there. I'm glad I went in a little early because I needed it. <coughs> wow, that's delicious. Get it. Get it. Yes. Oh my god, I'm excited to rhythm it. <coughs> oh. Man. Yeah. Definitely should have thrown a pillar in, but still a magical experience. Yes. <coughs> the pillar I rocked in here did amazing. Wow. Yeah, th those like mm. surface enhanced ones or whatever he's doing, blasting. <coughs> mm. Super dope. That's good to go. Now tip that cap. Whoa. That was Cat down. Good. That sounded so bad. It did sound bad though. <laughs> I believe it. My butthole clinched. <laughs> <laughs> this. Yeah. yeah. Clean this thing. Oh. These things are uh, very sturdy. You know what I'm saying? Zach. Zach Brown. Zach Brown. Shout My out. Guy. Shouts out. Shout out the boy. How did you get into producing your own music? <laughs> So when I started out making music, I was like 14 years old, wow. maybe 13. And I really just started wanting to rap and I didn't know I have, you know, no equipment, no real nothing. So I started with iPhone set of headphones plugged into an iPod and I'd use my dad's desktop computer to go on YouTube, play instrumentals. And I'd grab the little speakers, you know, the, the, the speaker set, and grab one of those and I'd hold it next to the mic and I'd let it play and I'd spit and I'd just freestyle it through and through. You know, I wouldn't even write nothing. And I'd get these ready and I'd like send them to all my friends. And like, yo, what do you think? And people were like, dude, it sounds pretty good. Like, I, you know, I'm fucking with it. And I'm like, damn, now nah, they're just lying to me. You know, kind of shit. And then I never really like was doing anything with it. I was just like, man, I liked doing it. And so then it came to a point where I was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. And I just started doing it. I got equipment. I borrowed a laptop, bought a mic, you know, from everybody I had. And we all kind of chipped together and made it happen and me and my friends made our first mixtape in my mom's kitchen and we burned a whole stack of cds went to san francisco and sold it for five bucks a pop uh and straight up you know we really was doing this stuff the 90s hustle straight up and we'd hop bar bro we just hit the city bro i love that's why i love the bay so much like growing up in stockton coming out to the bay was just every weekend every time i want to get away i'd go to the bay and it was just man my heart's out here for sure hell yeah it's oh but so yeah, and I just got into doing music and then I had opportunities and I ended up getting signed to a deal. It was going on a tour. I was thinking about going to college and it wasn't, I was like, it was 50-50, it was you know? I had the opportunity to go on tour, go to college. I said tour. I was like, that's what I wanted to do. And so I did it. I was on with this label for like two years and that was cool. Got me a good little leg up. And then I just got everything, you know? My homies came together with me. Everyone learned to trade. My friends are my videographers, my engineers, you know what I'm saying? It's all in-house. Yeah. Everything we do. And it's like, we really just started pushing the shit. Now you have the moving with it. And now you have the content creation house. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I just love it, man. Music is it's everything. Fuck yeah. It's I rap about my life, the culture, what I live. And it's just what I love. Hell yeah. It's definitely, uh, you can tell in your music that it's obviously things you've experienced. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, growing up in the 209, it's crazy. It's cool, though, you know? Definitely glad for everything I've had and been through and shit, you know? Fuck yeah. It doesn't kill you, makes you stronger, you know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. Straight up, but yeah, now I just live life, you know, super positive. I want to be helpful for the world and the community and just do it for the people, man. Fuck yeah. The culture we have around dabbing and smoking and the weed culture is just love. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like something like anything else. Yeah, it really is. And it is indeed. Everyone wants to like contribute, it feels like. Exactly. It's. I mean, it's obviously not perfect, but it's... Yeah, no one's perfect. Nothing's perfect, you know? But like, it's a lot of love in the community. Mm-hmm. Definitely a lot of love. One of my favorite vibes, for sure. Straight up. And it's growing bigger by the day. Yeah. New dabbers every day. Like, it was crazy. We were just heading to New York and we're on the plane. We got these three seats and this seat. And then these two, this couple comes and sits in front of us. And the lady's like, we smell like 35, 40, you know, dudes right around that age. And they're like looking at us and like, oh, where are you guys going? Because we were a connecting flight. This was going to Vegas. And they're like, oh, we're going to Vegas. Like, where are you guys going? We're like, oh, we're going to Houston for a show. They're like, oh, what are you, you guys are rappers? We're like, yeah, well, you know, we're like dab rappers, you know, like it's called the Water Boys. Dab rap. <laughs> and the dude looks at me for a second. I was like, oh, we lost him. He's like, what's dabs? You know, I was like, you know, there he goes, man, bro, total opposite. Dude's like, bro, we love to smoke dabs. <laughs> hey, he said, she pipes in, she's like, our first date, he gave me my first dab and he killed me. And ever since we just dabbed together, we love smoking hat. <laughs> we noticed your hat. That's how we knew that you smoked. I was like, oh yeah, you can, you could tell by the hat. <laughs> TSA loves the hat. They're like, Ash. I'm like, hash. <laughs> a lot of TSA people smoke, I feel like. Oh, of course. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what's up. Those are the ones I asked the question <laughs> to. I like the one who obviously puffs. Yeah. You're like, what are, do I have to be worried, buddy? He's like, you're good. I love it. Every time I'm on the plane, the flight attendants always like, when they're saying like, don't smoke in the bathrooms, it's whatever. They like, look right at me. <laughs> like, don't smoke in the bathrooms. And I'm like, I'm not gonna smoke in the back. I got edibles, okay? You know, so I'm not gonna smoke in the back. I'm prepared. I'm more classy than that, okay? But I have heard if you need to smoke in the bathroom, the tech is vape pen, hit it, hold it as long as you possibly can. Yes. Hit it second time, hold it as yes. long as you possibly can. Third hit as long as you possibly can. Then after <laughs> exhaling, flush toilet. <laughs> that, I don't know. That's the tech. And you have to be willing to get sprayed by some butt juice. <laughs> like, you gotta be willing. Hey, getting caught. Brad, straight up on the plane. I'm sitting next to him. He's moving around. I'm like, what you doing? He's reaching in his bag and he pulls out a pen. And I was like, you're going to go hit that in the bathroom? And he looks at me and starts hitting it. I'm, just, I'm like, oh my God, you're a ghost. You're crazy. And he hit it like four or five times. <laughs> no. And then he puts it back in the bag. And I'm like, no. No. no, no. no. And he's just. <laughs> I'm like, no way, bro. And he just ghosted, bro. Not, I didn't see nothing. That's really he literally cool. sits there and just meditates it out. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, that's reasonable. I was like, dude, two puffs and I'm going to be coughing. Yeah. Everyone's going to think I got COVID or something. No, shit, bro. I've done that in a few casinos and poker rooms where you're oh. smoking. You know, you do the one hit, do two it, hit, little. and then you do like this, and then it just comes out under <laughs> your shirt, and it's just like plumes coming out. And I'm like, just imagining him doing that on a plate. coming, bro. That'd be the vibe. Yeah. In a casino, you can kind of like walk it off. But like, <laughs> in a plane, not so much. Bro, yeah, it's good sketch up there, you know what I'm saying? That's hilarious. So, we love it. I love making <laughs> random friends on the plane. Dude, not always yeah. the nicest, but when it's nice, it's real nice. Dude, one of the connection flights we had, we met the editor of Hype Magazine. Yeah, he was sitting right behind us. He wants to do a piece on us, bro. Like, yeah, it's still super dope. He looked right at me and was like, what's your artist page? And I was like, how'd you know I make music? And then he just looked at me and I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess. And I'm just full water boys jersey, you know, on the plane like this. And he's like, yeah, what's your page? Anyone else have, have, they have to be worried about their like professional image or whatever? Bro, he literally was, the whole flight was hitting me up in the DM. Like, bro, I, I, you know, I said on the page. He's like, bro, I fucking love everything you guys are doing. <laughs> like, honestly and wholeheartedly, like you guys are sick as fuck. I was like, oh, thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? He's like, like, we're a magazine about hype things. Dude. <laughs> I, mean, I told Chad, I was like, bro, how do we always have the best luck on flights? We always meet the coolest people. Dude, like, it is nice. Like, man, it is. <laughs> when you bring the vibe, it's vibey. Man. It's super vibey. Like, straight up. When me and the two brothers were on our way to Oklahoma with our TSV, some guy like flagged us down in the airport, Josh, and was like, are you guys part of TSV? We're like, yeah. <laughs> And you're like, we're going out to Oklahoma to take dabs. He's like, I'm going out for my niece's like birthday or something. We're like, oh, that could be lit. He's like, no, nah, probably not as lit as the dab event you're going to, but <laughs> still be fun. And we ended up sessioning with him at TSB summer camp and he's a real one. Yeah. He has good work. 
You do need a Water Boys hoodie, Paleto. Hey, so I'm working on it. There's a limited drop coming for Turf Wars 2. Coming soon. Keep the website. Stay tuned. It's true. I would like one of those when they come out. I'm ready to, I'll be ready to click. They're gonna be super heady. Fuck you. <laughs> I already got one of those hash hats. Just, I got too big of a head though. So there's there's new hash hats coming too? Oh, I heard. Possibly. You know what I'm saying? You call hey. Yeah. A lot of dope stuff coming. I love that. Yeah, super excited, man. All right, should we get ready for our P2s? Let's do it. For all you people at home, XL wide quartz adapter. Boom, boom. Normal TSVs allow you to go up to 30 millimeter wide. Put this on, you can go up to 42 millimeters wide. It's crazy. 42. All right, so we're heating up. We're introing the hatch. This is Garden Boys, which is the incredibly heady brand brought to you by the Water Boys. Super heady. And this is their like stuff that is top notch, very heady, tasty, terpy, and uh, you're affordable too. Yes. Which is nice because oftentimes it's hard to get terpy and potent and affordable all in the same sense. But that oh, is, that's what the Garden Boys are about. And for the people. Yeah, so if you can get your hands with some Garden Boys, they had another one that was super fire. It was called uh, Grape Pie. Yes. It was like white. Yes. Isn't that amazing? I smoked it all. I so, smoked it all. Like, unfortunately, there wasn't any left for this stream, but the lemon. Oh, the legs off just a tad. Thank you. We're just gonna have to do yeah, this. It's a banger. Hey, ultimate tech. Are right, you ready to start yeah, tapping down? Take this time. All right. I'm thinking like five fifth, five sixty even. I think I'm a five sixty. It's my time. All right, but you have a lot more quartz, so you could go in the five forty. I bet. Still down, okay. Oh, it's important to follow right five. Let's get it. Cheers. Oh my god, the perfect dab tool size. Yes. <laughs> get in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the setup. Bro. It is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This ain't bad. <laughs> this is a pretty fun situation. <laughs> That's an incredible setup over there, too, my friend. Couple of dream setups right here. The truth. <laughs> they could be yours. So, sometimes it gets lost on me, but you take a step back and you're like, oh shit, this is like, like wow, Raph, I dream about. Straight up. <laughs> All right, Callie, when did you start smoking weed? And what drew you into dabbing? I started smoking weed and I was about 14. Right around the time you started rapping. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I remember the first sack of weed I ever bought. Yes. I had a friend who was like, yeah, my uncle's got so much weed like you know those metal pill capsules it's like a big like black thing that screws together yeah you put like stuff in it one could hold maybe like a half ounce it was like hey 20 bucks fill that motherfucker with green track and i was like yeah green track. i was like let's yeah run that gave him 20 dollars. the next day he came to school boom he said handed me the biggest thing i never seen him that big before i was like son of a bitch it's like sweet oh put it in my backpack I get home and I just barely unscrew it. Start stinking, bro. Of course. It was some fucking fire. Dude's uncle was growing some gas. Okay, that's all I knew. I took some of my pops of cigars and was slicing them up, rolling little fucking pinner blunts, trying to get it down. Yeah. And I started smoking like that. And then my dad started smelling the weed. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He's like, I know that smell. And I'm like, it's not me gotta be the neighbors so I kept trying to play it off or something. I'm smoking in the house a skunk when I was drove by <laughs> like I was just I, I look he didn't give a fuck but I was man you're smoking like in your room oh yeah <laughs> straight up I was just man and how long did that go on terrible <laughs> oh. I, just, I mean I just always was smoking weed at that point I'd be at school I'd have a sack on me I'd always have an apple boom oh yeah take a little apple his I started making edibles and taking edibles to school because that was the most like sly way to just getting high and like totally. keep it going. I <laughs> started dabbing when I was like, I want to say six. It's right around there. All the homies. Damn, quick to the dabbing game. Hey, this was early on too because all the homies 
knew how to press rosin and we was taking hair straighteners and pressing rosin this was like 2013 you know what i'm saying right around that time uh, and was you know so we was learning how to do that and then we were like okay we need the most fires weed so i could press into the most fires rosin and then smoke like that and we was fucking on it we you know we was making some pretty good shit i ain't gonna lie and it was smoking like that and then going to the old shows and just trying to find fire product and you know getting higher <laughs> and just man it's been up since then it's pretty good for 2016 well flower early on man fuck yeah early on yeah you guys were definitely ahead of the curve straight up had the ogs and the 209 used to make fire is shatter bro oh yeah get the fucking zips for the low and just would take fat worms bro <laughs> now back then the quartz maintenance it wasn't the best we were probably still off red hot titanium right i mean for the most part the fucking <laughs> uh e-nails we always had an e-nail running because that motherfucker used to take worms and just go back to back and back with it but man oh yes yeah, e-nail with the metal thing just be always be ready to die straight up yeah but then we thought we kind of caught on to keeping it clean. Eventually, we was making hella money. We just bought cheap bangers and we'd just take a couple dabs, throw it away. Yeah. Pop another fresh one on, take a couple dabs, throw it away. Yeah. Just had a whole trash can full of shitty bangers, a couple dabs taken off of them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is not sustainable. Not, <laughs> not at all. Man. But we definitely have come so far. Oh, yeah. Nah, super far. Fuck yeah. Cool. I, I definitely was taking some red hot dabs off of titanium to start with. Oh, yeah, bro, straight up. It used to be red hot. Does you like, hey, you want to get high? Red, come on. Ready. Red means ready. <laughs> bro. Um, I had a, a, I had a little homie. We used to call him Iron Lungs. He used to take red hots all the time. Yums. Just straight, just like, probably like, bro, gram and a half, oh. two gram worms. Red hot. Long. It like an yeah. email? Yeah, email, so, red hot fucking banger. Yeah, either yeah. way. Bro, it'd be bad. Boom. And then just disappear. Yeah. yeah. We like, would, you know, damn near lived in my mom's couch in the garage. So we had like a whole setup, you know, our dab station. We was buying a rig a week for a while. We was buying shitty rigs, but we was buying a rig a week for a while. It just had so many rigs. My mom would come out, what the fuck is all this? What are these for? <laughs> <laughs> we're scientists but like we're taking dabs mom <laughs> yeah man we all definitely started there my first was the china beaker as well you know what i'm saying yeah straight up but then we get we learn <laughs> that there are better things and it's something we enjoy oh my god and we can dial it in a little more it's crazy i hella remind my mom all the time like, remember back then when you were like what are the dabs what is all this shit what is all this for and i'm like Mom well, hash pays the bills now, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, came a long way. That's a funny turning point. Cheers indeed. And that, understandably, she did not get it. She still kind of don't get it, but my mom said, at least you're making money now, you know what I'm saying? Same boat. Doesn't get it, but like accepts it. Straight up. Dude, these dabs are hitting already. Feeling great. You ready for another? Let's go. Let's go. What's one of my third one? Well, the next dab we're going to be doing is called Acai Mints. This is grown by Fresh Frozen Genetics. Shall, 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 shall. Run by the Water Boys and West Coast Alchemy. Let's go. The tastiest. And this is a really good gassy <laughs> bean that is like a little bit of sweetness to balance it out. But overall, like you're going to gas town. We're currently heating up for our P3s of Acai Mints. So let's get turpin. Taking a pea thrizzle. Pea thrizzle. I think I'm gonna use this. Oh, slap slicer spear. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna use the Hashi it's tool. Dope. From Ooh, Oklahoma. Ooh, that's dope. Shout out Hashi Tool. This is the first tool he ever made. Well, it was nice enough to let me have it. That's fire. And super fire. Yeah, great vibes in it. Love it. Also, Hunter CR7. Welcome to 13. He makes really cool heady rugs where we're about to get a drop of. Hell yeah. Excited for those. What kind of temp are you thinking? This one? Yeah. I'm go like 520? No way. You have a standard slurper. You got to go in at like 550, 560. Yeah. I could go in at like 540, 530 probably because I have a lot more quartz. Professional. You should probably only put in half that dab if I were you. Because it's a little too low. <laughs> I got your back. I'm going in 570. <laughs> Sakes. 
They cool down quick. Well, I got Merit. Take this. Goodbye. I'm almost too cold. I only took like. It was a good adjustment. A P2.5. Five up the I'll talk. Get to the mosaic. I'm going to wipe this house. Hey. Ah, it's so dumb. This pillar and that demon, like, work really well together. Hey. I just got really warm all of a sudden. Yeah? Yes. I'm not there yet. I got to take another. So, like, professional dabber Kelly for the redemption dab. Going in slightly warm. Woo! Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the rest of it. Punch it. Okay. Yeah, a good dismount. I just put it on the non-stick pad. <laughs> Didn't get it on the mood mat. Great I have to. <laughs> We're watching love it. If you get sticky on a mood mat, <laughs> that's not the vibe. <laughs> Shout out mood mats for keeping our rigs safe. <laughs> Making our table look dope as fuck. With this big custom mood map. This is one giant mood map. Oh, man. Well, wow. what great purpose. Thank you. <coughs> Keeping everything looking so great. <laughs> hey, so how did you and the Water Boys first meet and decide to make music together? Mmm, it's a good one. I, I'm required to ask this mid dying olive. Hey, you feel me? Just get a little water. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. So I'd heard about the Water Boys, I'd seen a couple of their cartoons. My buddy Big O, shouts out Turpy Junkie, show me them. And I was watching the content and it was just like, man, I fucking love what they're doing. I'd love to make a song with them. It was like my mind said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We were talking about it in one night and I was like, you know what? I'm going to hit them up like the next day, right? The next day they hit me up. No way. Was like, yo, been knowing who you was for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You're from the 209 and shit. Like, we want to make a song with you. We want to collab with you. I was like, no fucking way. I was like, I literally said that too. I was like, bro, I literally was gonna hit you up today. I was like, I was like, you know what? I was really gonna, you know? <laughs> and so everything kind of just fell into place. We ended up knocking out our first song, Gabs on Me. That shit was fire. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just like, man, it was one after another and was just making music. And I was like, bro, I fuck with what you're all doing. I'm down for the ride. Let's run it. And fucking, we just been going ever since. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And really running it with the cartoons, running it with the music. We've been collaborating with different artists. We've been working with Nether Friends, dropping the album a week. Yeah. For the last three weeks, we got three scheduled. We just dropped Hash Holes, Peep It on all platforms. We got Dab Fish coming this next week. It's gonna be great. Then Turp Wars, the album. And Dab Fish is already reminiscent to existing content, which is magical. Straight up. About getting catfished on the <laughs> IG, which we are all very familiar with. It haven't made it too often. Anytime I yes. run a giveaway, anytime you exist, <laughs> you're just, people will be trying to catfish under your name. Fuck the scammer. Yeah, dude. But it's great that you are addressing that head on. Yes. And poking fun at it. Yes. I have a verse, a little inside information. I have a verse on the Dabfish album. Bro. Dissing a couple of the scams. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I had to. I love it. <laughs> Someone's got it. It's great. Nah, it's, it's really fun. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got people trying to fake you, you ain't really making it. You know what I'm saying? Truth. And everything we doing is for the community. You know what I'm saying? We really trying to make dabbing a fucking okay thing. You know? Take the hate away from it. Bring more people into the community. And just spread love. You know what I'm saying? And information and good vibes. And creating content exactly. around all of us because we like watching good content straight up. Yeah. We love making it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, fuck yeah. yeah. It's real dope. Fuck yeah. It is fucking great. I'm excited to listen to all of it. Hell yeah. Then add it to some playlists. Straight up. Fucking brush my teeth to that shit. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> man. Oh, my oh, bad. Man, I got yeah. really cooked on that one. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling great after that one. That one was fucking. That especially it's a good like taste and good potency. Yeah. Doing it right. Like I wish I was wearing a tank top right now. Like it it's so I wish I was wearing a tank top. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
with another colorway. Okay, so oh, I'm so lit. So what we got left is a P4. Uh, P4. Corn syrup. Ooh, this is a good one. Do I remember being kind of like gassy? It's like a gassy, dirty taste. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's like reminiscent of like GMO means like an OG. Mm. Like a sweet gas means like a stanky gas. Stanky. Uh, mm. Wow. You ready for this? I think so. I'm ready. All right, let's temp it. Stay ready. I stay ready. I love this thing, man. Yeah, that's that's a good tool. It doesn't get anywhere. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Let me make sure it's down. I probably got to take this. 610. Oh, wow. I'm at like perfect temp of clock. At least I, I'm 590, actually. I know. I have to do the same. I'm at 600. There we go. I'm at 680. I'll watch you take yours. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Oh, that looks like a nice temp. Yeah, I'm 650. I can't go in yet. 640. 618. It's a big dab on the land. Oh, those low temp turps, the salt, the fucking face in there. In the best way. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow. That's actually a pretty good tent. But those balls are just biting you. You feel like a little flick. I'm a banger. Yeah. Oh, just so much oil. That's what a lot of oil. So much oil. <laughs> it's burning great. Yeah, the the quartz pearls are doing work. <clears throat> they're smothered. But they're still cooking. Wow. Well, what did we learn? Next time we'll do six quartz pearls. Yeah. <laughs> It was just super good. But damn, you're making it work. Champion lungs. <laughs> you haven't dab in a while. Bam. Bar. That was delicious. Wow, black market. Mm. Insane. He knew what was up. Insane in the membrane. Speaking of which, what? <laughs> for Lieutenant Cali and the Water Boys. <laughs> Man, we got a lot of cool things coming up. We got a lot of new albums coming up. Like I said, we just dropped Hash Holes. We got Dab Fish, the album coming. Turp Wars, the album. And then, end of the year, we got Turp Wars 2. Turp Wars 2 is going to be dope. We're going to release it on Christmas to the general public. We're going to have a probably like release party sometime in mid-December, somewhere around there. <coughs> it's going to be dope. We got Hash Hole Day, National Hash Hole Day coming up. That is going to be pretty fucking dope. Even We're gonna headlining the whole event. We got an hour long set. We're going to be rocking. It's going to be fucking epic. We got some crazy things planned for the people, man. It's going to be fucking sick. Wow. I'm scared. And yeah, just music, new events. Next year, we're trying to take it global. We want to go tour, you know, all around the world. So they're setting up soon. You know what I'm saying? We're setting up some big things right now. So yeah. Yeah, we're just doing a lot right now. Really getting it going for the community, dropping dope music and just, man, vibes. We fucking post up in an Airbnb somewhere, pop the mic up and start spitting, man. We got a whole album done. That's right. Uh, I believe it. Super vibes. Dude, yeah. I like, is that kind of the creation of a lot of these songs are? For the most part, man. And it's like in the moment type shit, you know what I'm saying? We're out really in these places, really doing these things we're talking about and really living life, you know what I'm saying? Just... Yeah, spreading love and positivity. Just fucking love that the water boys way. You know what I'm saying? I do. Just try it out. Oh, and we only have one dad left. Man, you high? A little, just a little. I know, right? <laughs> so, dang, I'm not like crazy. Yeah. Here we go. P5 red vines. What? <laughs> Man, extremely fucking heady, Betty spaghetti. I've been wanting to hit this, and I haven't. I'm kind of annoyed they put it the P5 because it's my first time hitting it. As a fucking, I should have taken a warm up down. The ash is red vines from red vines. It fire. Eerily tastes and smells like red vines. It's insane. Wow, it's like that plasticky, fake, sweet, strawberry, strawberry, delicious, like plasticky. Mm. I just want to gnaw on, bro. Oh, so delicious. You ever had these dipped in chocolate? Oh, my favorite. Oh, my God. Dude, my favorite. Jetpack Johnny made a batch of chocolate-covered 
these oh. non-medicated for Dad Brain Invitational that sold out in like an hour. And I was like, in little glass jars too, like heady presentation. I was like, you're heady. Growing up, I had a homie and his family owned a chocolate factory. What? Like candy shop type thing. And yeah, they had those, bro. Oh, I used to walk in there and get them all the time. Oh, I've never even had those before till so delicious. Last weekend. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just out West Coast Alchemy. Exactly. Shout out West Coast Alchemy. Shout out to Water Boys for sponsoring this hash stream. Yes. You know what it is, man. A whole lot of Water Boys shit. It's nice to know Heady Cats. All right, you want to time down? Ready? Feel it. Let's do it. Hello. Feel me? Six of eight. Before we die. Got it. I'm gonna go in at like six bill as well. P5. Oh wow. Please. Oh my god, Callie's gonna die. Look at the thickness of that smoke. It's so he, he's a dead boy. I'm, I'm gonna join him. <laughs> oh, it's going. <laughs> so delicious. Oh, it's burning perfect. Wow. <laughs> Flavor. So crazy. <laughs> Holy fuck, those red vines. <laughs> Black market glass, man. This thing fucking rips, bro. <laughs> man. <laughs> it's great with that lamp. Well, wow. It's an all star combo right here. Yeah, this is like. Can only take about half of a dab and this slows down. That thing doesn't slow down. Mm. In full speed ahead. Mm. Sweet. Man. I'm dead. Tapped out. That was proper. You handled too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Proper. Mm. Well, I didn't know. Well, spice. Little spicy indeed, but I think once you add enough hash and you made it work, not too spice. Like good spice. Try to look cheap, Max. You know what I Got a fun question for you. Let's pop it. Can you share a crazy cannabis story from your past? Let's see. <laughs> got a lot. I got a lot. Yeah, I'm also. Hot tip, try not to incriminate yourself. It's always a good one. Oh, of course. Because th with this quick specifically, try to remind people because they can... It's so much. You don't mind a little a little bit, you know. You just don't want to go too hard. So, I was on tour. Uh -huh. And I frequently would perform the High Times Cup at San Bernardino. Sick. I did like three or four times. <laughs> and in my second year, First year was dope. Rocked it. It stands for like 5,000 people. Wow. Sick as fuck. Nice. I got high as fuck. Oh, yeah. I was blessed with so much shit. <laughs> Just kept eating, and drinking, and smoking. Oh, no. <laughs> I was high as fuck. So the second year, I knew I was prepped. I was like, I got this. <laughs> I started off light. <laughs> I only ate like two medicated empanadas. <laughs> I was like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't do his clean up food. There was these girls that came. <laughs> they had chocolate covered strawberries. I didn't know they were medicated. I ate like eight of those. They were good. Didn't taste like weed. So I kind of just like powering through that. You know, I mean, I can handle a lot of mm -hmm. the cannabis. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, I'm going, I'm meeting new people. And then I meet these drink people. And I uh, <laughs> drink people were pouring up. Huh? <laughs> Big ass double cup full of cannabis syrup. Mm. <laughs> they had cannabis, like, they called it sugar. What the fuck was it? They just dump it in there. Yeah. Then, like, pixie sticks. Candies on top that were all fucking medicated. Oh, no. And the straw was like a medicated, like, straw, bro. It's no. <laughs> Start drinking one. It's a hot day. Huh? I'm saying. <laughs> Sit that fucker down. I ate all the candies. <laughs> she was delicious. It's fucking good. <laughs> so I'm like talking to these people, man. They cool as fuck. Are we fucking with me? Yeah, hey, here. Another one on the house. No. Yeah, run it. No. Oh. Bro, I drank another one. No, Cali. <laughs> Thought you were taking it easy. <laughs> this was easy, I thought. 
I drank that one. <laughs> then I ended up eating something else, medicated popcorn. I thought it was regular caramel pecan. It wasn't. At this point, I'm getting high, bro. I'm like, wait, I started to chip. I was like, son, I'm a bitch. So I'm just trying to chill. Wait till I pretend. And somehow, somehow, I ended up with another drink. No. Dennis drink? The same drink I'd been slamming down with the candies, the candy, sugar, the yeah. fucking straw. I pounded it. Those are like thousands of milligrams. <laughs> Bro, he's going <coughs> at least to put it in perspective. <laughs> I barely made it to my vehicle. <laughs> I'm sitting in the back seat. <laughs> I'm throwing up. <laughs> so high. I barely remember pieces of it, you know what I'm saying? So I get in the car. And I remember waking up at the hotel yeah. at like seven in the morning ugh, in my car. <laughs> no way. And I fucking somehow got from my car to the room. <laughs> what? I slept in the room for maybe an hour or two. We had to leave. So I, got, I had to get back into my car. <laughs> we get back in the car and that's where my memory goes. <laughs> they got video of me singing fucking some karaoke song at a fucking Golden Corral or some shit. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I barely remember it. And I only believe him because of the video. <laughs> And then I don't remember the next day and a half. Just two days. <laughs> Gee, that's a crazy greed. I was told we had four. I had to give him back the deposit. And just, what? I didn't tell him. No. I, it was bad. <laughs> I learned that day. <laughs> three drinks is too much. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> with the mix, you know what I'm saying? But like, the, the main lesson is three drinks is too much. <laughs> not the main lesson. She hurt my face. I laughing so hard. <laughs> Uh, bro, I did a rough estimate. I I was somewhere twenty five thousand milligrams, maybe like thirty five thousand somewhere in that range for that day. I think she was like forty two thousand. Could have been. It very could have fucking been, bro. Like it was a lot of goddamn milligrams. She don't remember a day and a half of your life. The, and you know what? I fuck man. And you're a high tolerance too. I have an incredibly high tolerance. I know that's why it's so crazy a story. It yeah, my head. It was it was an incredible event. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the next year, I was prepared. No drinks. I brought my own drinks. They let you come back, Mark. Yes, they let me come back. Right. There's a lot of apologizing and <laughs> understanding. I told them I was drugged. Yes, you were. I was. You were. I said, "Man, it's not cool. Who makes medicated empanadas? <laughs> the fuck." They said chicken or beef. They didn't say fucking 500 milligram. It's like, God damn it. It's just, it was a hell of a fucking experience though. <laughs> it was so great, man. And then how did that performance go? Oh, it was amazing. So that year, the craziest thing that happened, why? I mean, I got incredibly high, but on my fucking like mile and a half walk from the fairgrounds to my fucking van that I had, <laughs> the cart ladies come in. And she says, honey, she want to ride us? Oh, yes. So she gives me a ride to the van. Me and my people, we get in the van, turn the van on, crank the AC, and I pass out in the front seat. <laughs> we, had, we had a hotel. We had a nice hotel. You know what I'm saying? All planned out, all paid, everything, you know? I wake up at 6 a.m., van still running. We're all sleeping in the fucking van, in the parking spot. <laughs> Said, fuck it, turned it off, went back to the fucking booth and started smoking again, you know what I'm saying? Just... We lost, you know, a night in the hotel, but sometimes you can't make it. You stay in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> we had a, a decent van. It wasn't like... Yeah, in your heart... You it was a U-Haul van that we rented, you know what I'm saying? In your heart, you were in the hotel. <laughs> Straight up. Once the AC hit, that was the key <laughs> component, bro. I said, oh, fuck. Yup. <clears throat> it was hot. You know what I'm saying? We're in San Bernardino. It's warm. Yeah. It was, it was great, yeah. High times, always an experience. Fucking love it though. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's Vince pretty tight. Especially when you're like the talent. <laughs> it is, it is. And we love it. Thank you for tuning in with Chirp Talk. Join us on twitch.tv backslash invest in headies. Sure. On Tuesdays. Tuesdays, 420. And sometimes Sundays. Sundays. Noon. Mm -hmm. Fucking love it. Hell yeah. And catch the produced episodes on YouTube. 
Yer. Which is youtube.com backslash at investment headies. And we couldn't have done it. this fucking heady episode without you, Lieutenant Cali. Hey, we love it, bro. Yes. Thanks for having me on. A lot of good turbs smoked in the air, you know what I'm saying? Good conversation. Mm -hmm. What's better than that? I agree. Right up. Not about uh, the journey or the destination, but the friends you make along the way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's go. Straight up. Oh, yeah. And you need to follow Lieutenant Cali on IG. Yeah. L3 yeah. underscore Cali on Spotify. He's under Lieutenant Cali. He has a bunch of his own dope music. I especially yeah. like Midas Touch. That shit slaps. Banger. He's a little like gangster. <laughs> uh, also, Breeze, freestyle, but yes, that's a heater. Um, and then anything with the Water Boys, you should yeah. add it to playlists and then just like play it around the block. Also, YouTube. Uh, Water Boys have a lot of dope content on YouTube. Hell yeah, yeah. Turf Wars 2 coming soon. Stay tuned. A lot of new shit, a lot of new music, a lot of new albums. You could watch like 10 or 15 music videos in a row. The Water Boys 710 on Spotify, man. The Water Boy 710 with two Z's on Instagram. Yeah. It's a whole lot of Water Boy shit going on, man. And Lieutenant Cali. Yes, sir. Don't forget to find him on all platforms. You already know, man. This is fun. We fucking high up in the bills. So high. Oh, man, yeah. Turb Talk, Invested Headies. We love it.